Alrighty, boys and girls, back on the TEA 20 tractor. Uh, got some beautiful box of parts here from all tractor parts and some of the stuff that we needed for this thing. This is actually for the TO35. That's a uh, small kit for the carburetor. There's part number there. That's for a Marvel Shebler carburetor. So we got that. Uh, shouts out to all, all tractor parts because uh, we had some small issues with the shipping company and Sue did a fantastic job of straightening it out and these are all the parts that I got. We got everything good. She fixed everything up for me. I love that lady. I love the company. This was off of eBay. Because of my searches it threw it on a sale so it was 13 bucks. I can't make that for 13 bucks. That's the kit for the Zenith carburetor that's on a TEA 20. That's the replacement throttle shaft with the bushing, so we're going to probably look at that. And then the other thing that we got was uh, exhaust gaskets. So that's for... I screwed up, and I ended up buying two of these, and I only wanted one, but it doesn't matter. And that's the... Uh, intake manifold exhaust manifold gasket carb kit like I said but this is the one thing that I wanted everybody to see was the wire harness now she, she, I paid 50 something bucks for this if we look at this stand by I'm gonna open it up so we have a quick look at it yeah so this is kind of true to form of a uh, carburetor going good so our carburetor wire harness on my mind's on carburetors uh, nice and loomed up heat shrink on the ends on the terminations it's not too bad we're going to unravel it we'll get into that and we'll look at that like i said i don't think i can make that for 50 bucks sorry i wish you could so we got some work to do on the alternator bracket or the generator bracket. Got to get that working. We'll be careful. That's going across batteries. And then and heat that bracket up and bend it and test with the alternator until we get belt alignment. All right. And I think that would be a good attack. Yeah, the uh, bracket for the generator is out of alignment, causing some issues. So. Yeah. It was leaning forward? Yeah, it's leaning in and then it's pulled back out. Right. Anyway. Jake's here. Jake's got some awesome news to share with everybody. He's a new dad. Yeah, I spent the last couple days in the hospital. My uh, girlfriend gave birth to a healthy baby girl on uh, August 8th at about 6 in the morning. So they're just, I think baby will be coming home today if all goes well. Um, so yeah, we're happy. Yeah, everybody's happy. Congratulations, Jake. Yeah, thank you. Oh yeah, man, I gotta heat her up. That's the same bracket that we fixed before. The one, the one ear was missing off of it. We put that back on. So, 
we're gonna see if we can make this generator generate. So Sean's gonna work on that and uh, we'll go over and see what we got. Alright, so we're after the exhaust manifold gasket. It's leaking so bad you can't even hear yourself think working on this thing, so we're gonna pull the exhaust intake manifold off, put the new gaskets in there, hopefully the right ones because there's two different versions and I don't recall if I knew which version if this was an 80 millimeter bore or 85 millimeter bore. But I guess we're gonna find out as soon as we pop this open. And uh, if it's the wrong one, then uh, I'll be talking to Sue again. So we pulled the gas tank off, um, pain in the ass. I got some different hardware. If this thing runs good, it's gonna get an OEM gas tank or repo, repop um, gas tank because this is just hideous. And you gotta take the gas tank a lot off to work on these motors. So that's where we are with that. I'll get in the manifold. I will check and see if there's any damage on the exhaust manifold because as you may or may not know, when you have an exhaust leak, it erodes the base metal. And I know there was a big leak under here on this side, on the exhaust. So we'll see once we get it off. And then this, this will, uh, we'll be able to figure out exactly what's going on. Don't snap them off, maybe heat it if you have to. We've never had the manifold. Ah, uh, we spared you the grief of watching us on John undo all these little tiny nuts, or the nuts that hold this thing onto the studs. So right now he's just cleaning the gasket surface. We're gonna. Get it with this bad boy, polish it, and uh, we'll be able to uh, put the uh, put the new gaskets in and put it back together. While we got everything apart, we're gonna ch check the valves for lash, and we'll we'll get onto that. So um, yeah, we're moving right along. Everything's going awesome. All right, let's get this going. As you can see, I'm buffing the gasket surface. This is bad in this area here where there was a major exhaust leak. So we're just trying to see. I don't see any pitting, so that's kind of good. I'm not hitting it aggressively. This tool is amazing. Ingersoll ran 90 degree. Look at that baby. It's a model number on that. I can't read. SRO9L. There you go. Kind of sounds like being at the dentist. It's basically the same tool. Oh, loud noises! Look out! That's the air compressor. Your saw ran SS3. Nicer with all the studs out. You have to work around them so much. I got no glasses on, I can't see shit. Well, I can see this was burnt over here, so that's more exhaust.
I got the uh, kind of tap some new threads in the manifold so we can put 3 8 studs in it. I think that's what was in there. Top seems to be going in pretty good. This side. Oh, sorry for the interruption. I had to delete some files because the telephone's full and I should use my old camera because it's got, or my old phone because it's got an SD card in it. And you can load it up pretty good. So we got the top going in nice. We've got some studs coming. I'm going to try and do this. Clear out these threads. Maybe they'll hold. I don't know. Hard to say. If not, when next time around we pull the manifold off, I guess we'll have to uh, put inserts, threaded inserts in the uh, exhaust holes. Know, we'll see. A little bit wore out, are they? Maybe. We're going to try it and see. If not, we'll go back to 516. Jam nut them on top, even. Yeah. I mean, them extra long, so you can put jam nuts on the floor. We will see. There you go. So while we were off camera, because I couldn't, I, for the life of me, I couldn't figure out where my phone was. Here it was in the tripod. <laughs> go figure. Uh, we put the manifold back on. We put some red silicone RTV around the exhaust manifold side of the gasket because it suffered from some erosion from the exhaust leaking. And there was a bit of corrosion on there. Um, in the real world, we would have took it to a machine shop and got it faced if we were doing a restore on this. Right now, we're going to make it run. And then we can do a proper evaluation on whether or not the gears work and all the main things. Yeah, everything works good. Then we can do. Then you look at a restore. But there's no point in trying to restore something that doesn't work well. You got to have a basic, uh, fundamental, basic concept. Okay, that's going to work good so far. You can see the anti seize. Anti seize on all the studs. Anti seize on all the fasteners. This is a tractor. It does get hot. It does get exposed to the weather. So all you naysayers for the anti season, you guys from down south, you do what you do and I do what I do. This gasket turns is a great torture. Telling you this tool and these scotch lock discs, oh, amazing. Feels nice pretty rate. flat, yeah. yeah. We welded it up because oh, it was burned out. Oh, yeah. This we didn't buy the new exhaust system yet, right? The only reason why we did it this way is because. Uh, This exhaust system is rotten. It's a terrible thing. Yeah. That tan flange is fine. <laughs> it's a million dollar flange. Zero zero three. Yeah. Look at that kit. Jesus. Fifty four dollars. Courtesy of Sue. That's throttle plate. No. Nice. Yeah, they should see you. You know what? You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna do the unthinkable. Where's the silicone? We're gonna silicone that up. Huh? Silicone exhaust part. Sure. Yeah, well, it's a band-aid till I buy the new exhaust pipe because that's 150 bucks, and we're not buying nothing new for this thing. 
Other than what we have to to make sure that we've got a good running unit for this. Now I'm going to bring these up. Now this is pretty janky. I'll bring them up that high just in case you guys to them up. Because you know what? I'm not very hopeful. Hmm? I'm not very hopeful. Of what? Those threads hanging on. Without so insert. I know! Okay. This is Gordon Nut. This is all chewy again. Right, I'm going to pause the camera because this is crap. Can you see that? That's total cringe. So you guys can. Cringe away in the comments. I used uh, anti C's or sil red silicone on the exhaust manifold. This is junk. This pipe. We made we this up. We, a, we know we're bound for welfare now. Yeah, we're gonna be bound to. Yeah, it's tough. But you can't do a proper assessment on anything when you can't hear it run. I'm sorry. Fit. Three eight, three eight. Huh? The gas three yeah, but the, the manifold's not square. Okay, sure. Yeah, they are. I don't know if I can get this or not. It looked like it the top went up through the nice wall, but maybe not. Maybe we gotta do a little bit of screwery. Well, let's try this. There's always more than one way to skin a cat. Back here right out of the bed. Yeah, I'm trying to run this on a big angle. Turn that set in. You get it. Sixteen, so it's not a true. Uh... All right. Well, I know what I got to do. I'm gonna pull the studs out and go up right through. Stand by. All right, folks. So I just I just finished plugging up two giant holes in that bracket, and uh, Sean here just working on making up some shims for the uh, the attentioner on the um, for the generator mount, just because. We're dealing with some angular deflection on some of this stuff. It's been massaged a few times, so um, yeah, that's where we're going. Dad just finishing working on the. Uh, we cut a new mount for the uh, gas tank, just a temporary one, a little bit easier to put into what we were dealing with. Um, if everything works good, we'll go. We'll put a new exhaust and an original style OEM tank on this. Um, we just want to make sure that the major components are good, and then we can look at doing a uh, doing a little bit more of a bigger job on it. Um, I, Dad's mentioned that already. I don't need to repeat myself, but just figure I'd get some shots of some wrenching going on for you guys. Um, is what it is. We're doing stuff.
Ini Do you need me to go get the other drill? We're the other drill. I got it. I use it for my projects. So yeah, he's just over there. Put my safety glasses down. Just buffing off where the holes are drilled. Just converting. Noise to sparks. Converting energy into extreme So energy. yeah. That pan down, I did that weld the other day on the exhaust there at the bottom. Just as, this is just temporary. Like, it's, like we've said, if it, if it all checks out, we'll, we'll throw some parts at it. Just have some more fun. Splash some paint on it maybe even too. Squirt some paint. guys so here's the bracket there's the that's what the, we had it was okay it did serve its purpose but we're just going to make this bracket here because it's a little bit more functional maybe and it's scalloped out and everything the parts that we don't need it looks good it's flat it looks really good that's freehand cut with the plasma cutter we don't have a table we're, we want to get there eventually but right now we don't have one so we do we do everything freehand okay all right cut cut it's catching the tail end of him folks driving it he's just doing the gear test um, hang on a second. So he's just doing the gear test. He's gonna he's gonna go out on the stretch here on the side of the road and just see if he if if it's got the gears working. So far, so good. It needs some carb work, and we know it breaks down a little bit. That's high gear there. Highway gear. There's a the highway gear. <laughs> it moves. Lock the brake up a little bit. I think like we're good, like gear wise. I think it's worth doing some work to this thing. It stalls out in the middle of the road. Needs an axle seal. There it goes. Out of gas. Out of gas already? Hang on, folks.